Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Here's my follow-up video about Android 13 Beta 4.1. I've been using this build for 5 days and since then I noticed a lot of performance improvements and bug fixes. And most of these bugs I reported already in my previous videos, so I will show you what I did report and what's the current situation to give you a clear idea. On top of this, I'm gonna show you the list of issues we still have and hopefully Google will work on them in the future builds. So let's start with the bug fixes. Before showing you the fixes, let me highlight that some of them are related to Google Apps and the others are related to the OS, but I'm gonna share all of them together. So here is fix number one. Previously, when I used to expand the notification shade while having the keyboard showing, like in this case, the keyboard dismiss arrow used to overlap on top of the notification shade, but now it's no longer the case. Fix number two is in the internet tile. Previously, when you expand the internet card like this and then use the back gesture, nothing used to happen and your only ways to dismiss the card is to either tap on done or somewhere else on the screen. But now the back gesture works just fine. Fix number three is related to the network usage on the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. This is one of the issues that keeps coming and going all the time, but after installing Android 13 Beta 4.1, my network usage never exceeds 10%, and as you see, it's now on 7%, so it seems like this issue is finally fixed. Fix number four is related to one of the most annoying issues I had with the Pixel 6 Pro, and I'm not sure if this issue also impacts other models or not, but the issue was when I used to put the phone in my pocket, the display turns on by itself and the phone goes to the emergency call screen. And if I forgot to lock it, sometimes it calls people or send text messages. But it seems like this issue is now fixed. And to prove this, here I have a piece of tape that I'm going to use it to cover the top part of the display like this and then wait for a few seconds until the display goes off. As you see now the display is completely off and I cannot do anything on the screen, but once I press the power button, the display works just fine. So now you can put your Pixel phone in your pocket with a peace of mind. But what's interesting for me is the location of the ambient light sensor in the Pixel 6 Pro. I thought at first it's located here in the earpiece area, but it seems like the sensor is located in this area. So when I put my finger here, the display will turn off like this, as you see here. And I used my phone camera to show you where it's located exactly. You will see something flashing here under the display, exactly in the area I just mentioned. And it seems like the 6 Pro have it in this weird location. Fix number five is related to the UI. In some cases, when I used to press the power button, the quick setting styles used to overlap on top of the always on display briefly and then it disappears. But since installing Android 13 Beta 4.1, I didn't see this issue once. Next, quick freezes. One of the issues I showed you before is the quick freezes feature works even with the do not disturb activated. And you can see this from my previous video. When I activate do not disturb and then call myself, I still get the a bubble on the screen and also the mic gets activated so you can say the command and respond to the feature even though it shouldn't do this because do not disturb is active but now this issue is gone because when i call myself here from the pixel 5 while having do not disturb activated as you see here nothing happens on the pixel 6 pro so it's not ringing and it doesn't show the bubble and once i hang up the call I will get the missed call notification over here. Next, the phone app. And one of the issues I reported before is when you tap on the search bar and then use the back gesture to go back, the phone app quits instead of going to the previous page. And Google did fix this issue before and I did report this. However, the issue returned back again. And finally, Google did fix the issue one more time and I have it working normally for a very long time now. So I thought of sharing this with you. Next, the Gmail app widget. Now when you tap on any of the emails and then go back to the home screen, as you see the animation is linked to the widget like all other Material U widgets, but previously the same action or the same animation was linked to the app icon instead. And now it's time for today's sponsor. If you are interested to purchase original Windows 10 and Office keys, head over to cdkeyoffer.com using the links in the description below, then apply my special promo code ID20 to get extra 25% discount. Windows 10 OEM key will cost you $16.23, which is very affordable. To complete your purchase, choose your preferred payment method, 
input the details, and once the payment is done, you will be redirected to the orders screen. To view your code, click on the view keys slash codes button, then click on get the key. To activate your Windows 10 OEM key, copy the code from the website, head over to your Windows settings, then system, scroll all the way down and click on about, then product key and activation, and finally click on a change. Paste the code in the text field and click on next, then activate, and now your original Windows key got activated. For more offers, please check the links in the description below. And now let's get back to the review. So these are all the fixes I spotted over time. Now let me share with you my experience after installing Android 13 Beta 4.1 on the Pixel 6 Pro. When it comes to the performance, the performance is very solid and it gets better over time. The animations are very smooth and I don't see any lag whatsoever across the whole OS. The haptics feels better as well and the battery life is longer. And when it comes to the temperature, the device temperature is always below uh, 35 degrees. As you see here, it's 30.9 degrees Celsius, even though the phone brightness is set to 72% all the time while recording this video. And I've been recording for a very long time. So you will enjoy the performance of the Pixel 6 Pro after installing Android 13 Beta 4.1. Now let me show you the list of issues we still have and hopefully Google will work on them soon. The first one, when you set a wallpaper from a third party app like this one, for example, and then go back to the home screen, tap and hold on the home screen to get the overlay menu. As you see, the wallpaper showing here is not the current one I have. However, when you set the wallpaper from your photos app, it works just fine. Another issue with the wallpaper and the style app, sometimes it doesn't show the actual look of your home screen inside the app. So for example, I'm gonna choose this set of colors and as you see, the clock is now purple, but when I go to the home screen, it's pink. Google Maps picture and picture window still takes a long time to show you the map. And the text selection tool inside Keep Notes still overlaps on top of the keyboard. Now let's talk about a couple of issues related to the camera and the first one is the grainy videos. I captured this one yesterday and I still see a lot of grain in the shadows, even though I'm using Gcam version 8.6, which is recently released by Google and the issue is still there. So I hope they will work on it soon. The second problem is the overheating issues while recording 4K videos. I tried to record video outdoors today and the video length was three minutes and 28 seconds. Then the phone stopped recording because of the overheating. And let me also show you some of the screenshots here. I started with 33.2 degrees Celsius. This is the device temperature and the outside temperature was 42 degrees and it feels like 47. After three minutes and a half, the phone reached 40.9 degrees and stopped recording. In contrast, I used the iPhone 13 Pro Max doing the same exact exercise and I managed to reach 12 minutes and 35 seconds. And after activating the HDR10, I got nine minutes and eight seconds. So certainly Google needs to improve the performance of the Pixel 6 Pro while recording 4K videos. One of the things I noticed the iPhone does is dimming the display while recording to save the device from overheating, but the Pixel 6 Pro was always on the maximum brightness. So I think Google should use the same trick to save the device from overheating and give us a longer recording time. Now let's move on to Google Photos and one of the issues we still have is the slow delete performance in screenshots, screen recordings, and photos. So I'm gonna try to delete some screenshots back to back like this, and maybe after the fourth or the fifth time, it will stop me from deleting. And as you see, this screenshot is in very low quality, and when I wait for a few seconds, it will jump to another one. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are the performance improvements, bug fixes, and the list of issues we still have. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. And if you want to report any bug on your Pixel phone, please let me know as well, so I will include in my future videos. But for now, thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next video.